we are going to use these. So with these earrings, you want to get your backing and take your pen and we've already done it, but you can take your pen and make your mark. So you got your circle and we labeled them. I did that one because of the dot. Oh, this okay. one doesn't have a dot. Okay, so this is two, but we labeled them so that when we cut them out, we know which back is what. So after you cut it out, you're going to try to position where you want your, where you're wanting your, your post to lay on your ear. So if you're wanting your post to lay a little bit higher or right in the middle, it depends on how high up you want on your ear, is going to determine where you mark your post. Once you've decided where you want it placed, then you're going to mark it. So then the next step is you're going to fold it in half. You take your scissors and you're going to cut along your bottom marking. So the reason why you're marking it like that is when you open up, you're going to slide it through Oops, wrong direction. And then you're going to aiming it directly so they can see. You gotta poke it through so that your piece is laying flat. If you can see there's no space in between. It's laying flat up against your your backing. If you flip it around that's gonna go on the back of your so that's how it'll look. <laughs> okay, so the next step after you are putting your back on before you start doing your edging, you want to make sure your back piece and your front piece line up. And how you do that, I don't know if I can see. you're going to look straight down. So first you want to say, okay, this is this is my top. You don't want that on the top. Okay. So this is going to be the top where the flower's up there. I want that to sit at the top. So you're going to look straight down at your, your little piece here. And you're going to line it up with a pencil and you're going to mark the top. Make sure it doesn't have a top. My middle line. I already marked it, but so you just mark at the top of your so you know where to line it up at. Once you marked your little piece there, kind of move your your little guy out of the way, the back piece. You mark the back piece as well. This is just a pencil, so it it won't stain. So you can wipe it off with the. So you have your marking there, so you know where your top is. The reason why that's important 
is when you're tacking this down, say these accidentally get pushed aside and, oh no, what happened? Where's the front? If you have already marked it, then you know you can just line them straight up and that that is going to sit at the top instead of below, upside down. or So that's why it's important to mark the top. It, it helps you keep your spot, kind of like a bookmark. Okay, this is similar to the, the last video I did with edging. You're gonna take your um, cardstock or um, whatever that you have is thick. Uh, to something hard to keep your your beadwork laying flat. We just use cardstock. Just gonna use gently use some gorilla glue because it expands. Just want to remind everybody that it. And then you're gonna stick it in the middle. Um, you can see that the piece where we're going to add the backing, um, there's a little space there so that way when we put it on, when we put our post back on, it's not going to... And then if you just line up where you marked it. So we're just going to hold it down um, so that it gets has a little bit of drying time. Um, and then we're going to cut the excess edges. I, I would show you the wraparound technique. You can just start anywhere. Just find a spot. You can start anywhere on your beadwork. And you're gonna come, you're gonna go down onto your back side. And so you can see the knot there. That's where your knot's at. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up three beads and you're gonna come in right next to where you started. So what's happening is it's laying the the beads are going to be laying over your piece like that so in order to achieve it which is really easy is you just come back down the side you started you're gonna come right next to your knot And then you're going to pull it tight so it's starting to go over your, your piece there. Now you got it lighting. And you came out the back side right next to your, your line. So you came next to it, you went back. So now you're going to take three more and you can you're gonna keep going in the direction so we we went down here and we came up right next to it so now we're gonna come up again on this side you're not gonna switch over to the other side of your knot you're gonna stay in one direction and then you're gonna go back down and how I'm measuring is is per the width of the bead. So it's about a bead apart. And then you pull. So you, you're slowly starting to see your pattern. I'm not sure if you can see that. You want to make sure that you're going down in right about the same spot. So let's go back down. So maybe you can see that side and the front side. Pull it 
pull it through and you want to be slow but the more you do this the faster you'll get and there you go you're starting to see your pattern you can just adjust it a little bit and then you're just going to continue to go all the way around so a quick point that I want to add when you're doing this to make sure that it's looking even you want to make sure when you're coming through with your needle that all of these points right here are lining up see how this where it's coming out of is lined up with the one right next to it. 